Takatifu Kisito from Tanzania. I want to appreciate Ambassador Dan Kasungu for making it possible to introduce our, our team to the Kwayam Takatifu. You are welcome to Kenya. We appreciate your solidarity. And this is in line with the, the East African uh, Corporation. I also want to appreciate our my colleagues from the region, the number of chairpersons who have come to be in solidarity with the, the Electoral Commission in this journey. So this evening, I welcome you to the results transmission phase of this process. Today, we, as a commission, we appreciate Kenyans who turned up in large numbers to exercise their democratic right to vote. Voting has now closed in a majority of the polling stations, except in a few areas in Kakamega, Makweni, Isholon, Nairobi, and Mombasa. At the time we were coming here, I believe they are about to finish or just about to close. And this is because voting started late and as a result, the time that was lost was compensated. The results transmission has started, as you can see on the screen. What you see is the result forms coming in, and already there's a percentage you can see there. And these transmitted forms are also available in our public portal on the website. And I believe the media, uh, the presidential candidates, and other stakeholders and Kenyans at large can log on to the public portal and have access to the presidential result form 34S. And when the form 34Bs will be collected, they'll also be posted on the public uh, portal. And just to remind, uh, Kenyans that the Commission has three telling centers at the constituency, county, and national telling center, which is right here at Bomas. Now, what happens at constituency telling center? We shall have telling of results from polling stations and declaration of results or winners of the member of national assembly and the member of county assembly. That's at the constituency. And there will also be collection of presidential, gubernatorial, senatorial, and count woman member of national parliament results. Then we have the county tallying center, where there will be final tallying and declaration of results for gubernatorial candidates, senatorial candidates, and count woman member of parliament. Here at the national tallying center, we shall be doing verification of transmitted image of the result from 34S against original form 34S. So the images are coming in, but our returning officers will they bring the original forms, then we shall do verification once we receive them. And you can see the desks will be here in the open, five desks, and each desk uh, will have the IPC officials, the, the, and agents of presidential candidates, all the four agents will be accommodated here. Then we shall also have verification of constituency form 34Bs against their respective form 34S, followed by collection of form 34C, which is the form that has a collection of all the, the polling station results. Then we shall also have confirmation of constitutional threshold of 50% plus one, and also a confirmation of 25% of majority of counties uh, of the votes garnered. We shall then follow with the declaration of presidential results and issuance of certificate to the president-elect. So those are activities that will be in this phase of results at the National Telling Center. So here we shall have three screens running the first screen is uh, the one you see on the right, which is projecting the number of Form 34S received from polling stations. The second screen 
will project collected results received from the constituencies and the third screen will project the county aggregates of all the 47 uh, counties. In transmitting the results, the results transmission system has been configured to send the results only once we, once the QR, with the one QR code which is configured for that polling station. Persons authorized to be at the polling station include the media, observers, and polling station agents who are allowed to take an image of the Form 34A. And we all must remember that the results announced at the polling station are final and cannot be changed by anyone. So that is the exercise we are undertaking and uh, once the verification is complete, the constituents returning officers will come present the results for announcement. In conclusion, I must mention that the law requires the Commission to undertake verification of presidential election results and declare president-elect within seven days on conclusion of the polls. As a commission, we call for patience among Kenyans as we undertake this rigorous exercise, and we also endeavor to complete this exercise as soon as possible. So thank you very much. God bless all of us, and God bless Kenya. Asante sana.